Let's begin this afternoon from here. And toll booth attendants at Abuaso in the Kwabre East Municipality of Ashanti Region have described as insensitive the decision by the Roads and Highways Minister to seize the collection of tolls. They claim not much time was given to them to plan ahead. My colleague Ibrahim Abubakara reports, despite the directive by the Roads Minister to cease collection of the tolls from 12 a.m. first, the attendants were seen collecting tolls as early as 5 a.m. today. Government has abolished all tolls on public roads and bridges. This, according to the finance minister, is to take effect immediately. Parliament approves the 2022 budget. But the roads and highways minister, Amuakwata, has also issued another statement calling for the immediate cessation of all tolls effective today, Thursday, November 18. This decision has been described as haste by some tour attendants here at Abuaso in the Kwabri East. As early as 5 a.m. when we got here, tolls were still being collected because the tour attendants say they were unaware of the decision by the road minister. It came as a surprise to me because I know uh, we are in a country of laws because you present budgets it has to go through the finance committee before they approve it on the floor. So without approval on the floor, and then you ask us to shut tools just like that. It does, to me, it doesn't make sense. I don't see, because there's law that backs too. So if anything new is coming, I there should be the law. You just don't sit in the comfort of your office and just order things to be shut down like that. Well, in the country, it is very bad. To be honest with you, it's very bad. You don't take this decision because you've not even engaged the workers. Because I heard the minister saying the workers were going to be reassigned. So if you're going to re, uh, you are going to reassign a worker, you've not even spoken to him. You've not even sat him down to talk about where he'll be going to or whatever. Then suddenly, boom, you just tell him to go home. It, it doesn't make sense to me. As I'm talking to you now, at the end of this month, we are only two months. They were only paid September. October hasn't come. We are in November, getting to the end of November. They've not paid them. So you're asking these collectors, these ables and these able guys to go home. Right now, they are going home. Even though government says it will reassign the toll booth attendant, they are not too enthused with the abrupt decision to allow them go home unprepared. Tell me now, I'm going to the time given for us to cease collecting the tools is short. We have not prepared ourselves for this. We depend on this job for a living. Everyone has his or her shifts. We have to go home not knowing what is next. We thought we had up to next year to prepare and plan. It was announced we will be reassigned, but it seems it was just wet. We are yet to see that materialize. Parking activities around the toes have been also affected. Where are we relocating? Where will we go from here? We have nowhere to go. No brother, no husband. Four children, how will I cope? So I'm, I'm pleading to the government to do something about it. Ibrahim Abubakar, TV3 News, Abuaso, Ashanti region.